been an interesting couple of weeks. We're back with our power rankings uh, prior to week three. Had some teams fade off, uh, some new ones come on. Uh, it's getting hard to put people in the top 10. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I think there's been more parity in the league than you or I thought going into this season, right? I mean, some teams that uh, at least I thought, and I think you did too, that would do well have not. Yeah. Um, we both agree the AFC South is trash. They're gone forever. Thus the black uniform. Yeah. yeah uh, and, right. But AFC then there's South others. Bad. Yeah. There's others. I mean, let, let's, let's see who's dropped out. Um, so dropping out from last week, we have the Raiders, the Bengals, the Vikings. Uh, the Raiders kind of in a weird way, right? I mean, that that scoop and score to finish it with the Cardinals. But the fact is they let the Cardinals come back and tie it up to make that even possible. So, you know, that's got to cost you, right? I mean, uh, Kyler Murray was incredible in the fourth quarter, not so much the first half, but the fourth quarter was incredible. And, again, enabled that scoop and score. Yeah, and I don't see that being sustainable uh, no. kind of uh, paradigm that they're going to mm. take that with them to the playoffs or anything where he has 18 seconds and then scramble in the end zone. That no. that, that stuff's not going to happen. And fluky shit has been happening left and right. So A lot, a lot right? I mean, you look at um, – the Jets coming back and beating the Browns, yeah. they score two touchdowns in a minute 23, something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, <laughs> that that's that's weird. I mean, yeah. But that, it's not, yeah, the, the Dolphins coming back against the uh Ravens. Four touchdowns in the fourth quarter. I mean, it's it's kind of crazy what when you start looking at it. So you gotta take it for what it is. So this stuff's gonna start balancing out. I think uh uh, water always finds its level. Yeah, right, right. And, I think so, right? So that's what we're kind of looking at here is, okay, so we're not just automatically putting all 2-0 and o teams in the top 10 because some of that doesn't make sense, but some of it does. So Right. I mean, like, for example, the Giants are 2-0. and o. Do they crack the top 10? No. Because no. does anyone believe that that's sustainable or that's for real? No. I refused. So we talked about this yesterday. I refused you. I said Giants are not cracking the top 10. Those yeah, because you have to start looking at it, right? We start looking at, uh, okay, we know these teams are out, but who do you start to put in? And, and you know, of course, I pitch, well, the Giants are 2-0. and o. Of course, yeah. that's ridiculous. Yeah, so we start pitching teams, and then you're like the Giants. I'm like, there's no, there's no way. I'm yeah. sorry, there's just no way. I don't think anyone buys in that. So, I mentioned the uh, the Raiders, the Bengals, and the Vikings drop out of our top ten. The Vikings, who were just uh, embarrassed, embarrassed by yeah. the Eagles uh, last night. I mean, that was that was incredible, man. I mean. That, that crap-ass cover two defense that they ran in the first half, they modified it a little bit in the second half, but not enough. They made um, uh, Hurts look all world. Yeah, so – He's thrown to wide open dudes. Yeah, so here's the problem I had with it the whole time is, okay, this shit ain't working. Right. Try some new stuff. Try it. See what's going on. See see if your corners can cover man on man, or press coverage, or anything like that. Uh, you're still going zone, but do matchup zone. Do uh, 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 man on one side, uh, zone on the other. They right. did. They tried none of that. They were all they backed did. off, and it was easy cheese the entire game. And I wish that uh, that some of the teams we play, uh, the Colts play. Did that kind of thing because that'd be easy. It's so easy. Yeah, I, I think the decor. Uh, he just he doesn't have any cojones there. I mean, it's like you're getting crushed and you're not really making major adjustments. He made minor adjustments, right? They they put a single high safety in the second half, that kind of thing. But I mean, first half there, both safeties were twenty yards deep. I mean, yeah. Uh, 
it made no damn sense. <laughs> so, um, I, it's incredible. It's like you guys are losing this game, and if you don't have the nuts to go out there and try and win this game, you deserve to lose. Uh, Kirk Cousins uh, took a lot of crap, as he uh, rightfully so in most cases, uh, because he shows up small under the bright lights, right? Sure. However, his team was not helping him out at all. There were several drops, several drops. Yeah, if you actually watch the game, it, you can't blame it all on Kirk Cousins. First of all, the defense sucked. Right. And the drops alone, we talked about it constantly while we were yeah. watching this game because Minnesota is the one team that we we actually picked them. Yeah. And the drops were horrendous. Kirk Cousins wasn't good. Don't get me wrong. No, just, he wasn't. He wasn't. Uh, it, it was a pathetic performance. At, so yeah. they're gone. They're out. Right. They're, they're out. They're out. So those are who are out. Who's in? Who's in, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's start with number, number 10. 10. Let's get into it. Number 10. This was a tough one for me. Uh, you pitched it. And it's like, well, yeah, you're this not is the wrong. one I pitched. Yeah. Yeah. You're not wrong. Uh, although they're one and one, the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately lost Trey Lance to a season ending ankle injury. Horrific. I mean, these guys just don't get paid enough. A season ending ankle injury. He's gone in the first year of his starting that's just sad, man. That's just oh, sad. I, I hate seeing that kind of shit. And it, that's why when people bitch about a players wanting to get their money, that's why. That's why. Because that's why. anything can happen. It's weird. Uh, weird injuries like that can happen. He, uh, you know, broke his ankle. And it's like, I feel so bad for the kid because he worked his ass off. He finally gets, a, uh, he gets the reins to start for the, uh, a really good team. A very good team. And, man, it just sucks. The problem is it's the Wally Pip kind of thought process. So, Jimmy G's right. going to come in, and he's proven, by the way, that he can get him at least to a, a championship game, if not further, because he's done at that. Least I mean, yeah, everyone should be so lucky. Is I mean, this guy has gone to a Super Bowl, has gone to a championship game. Like, oh, yeah, how, how terrible for you. And uh, in my wife's case, He's handsome. So she gets to see more Jimmy G highlights. She's all about it. Yeah, no, he's so good looking that you like he kind of respect it. it. Distractingly so. Distractingly so good looking. I mean, and so. I think that's why he makes so so many throws. It's like, wow, look at this. Because you can see his eyes. They're very piercing through the because he doesn't wear a visor. He should wear he should be mandated to wear visors. Uh, I guess my thought process. That, that's only fair to the rest of the teams, right? Because, you know, defense is going to get lost in his eyes. Yeah. Bam. You know? Now he's throwing behind you. Uh, we dropped him a little bit. Uh, number nine, we dropped him a little bit. The Ravens um, uh, last week, we actually had him at number three. Dropped him. Look, they didn't have a bad game, but they ran into the Dolphins, who just scored – more points in a score fest. They, you know, <laughs> they, they, bad, they didn't have a bad game. They had a bad quarter. Is kind well, of a little disappointing their defense, right? At that point. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't because uh, Lamar's still doing Lamar things. He Lamar started, was the better quarterback on the field, let's be honest. I mean, he, he held up his end of the bargain, right? So right. Uh, he didn't turn, uh, Tua turned it over twice. Lamar didn't. He right. held up his end of the bargain, and I just we're, – we're putting it up. So, you're, we're talking about total team power rankings. So, I, that's what dropped it for me was their defense giving up that kind of shit. That's all. That's a, that's a lot of points for a defense to give up in uh, second half, fourth quarter. That's too many. I, I think they'll fix that. Uh, maybe it was – maybe it was an aberration. Could be. But it happened. It happened. You can't ignore it. And you can't ignore Tyreek Hill, by the way. The the dude's a monster. Dude's a monster. Dude's yeah. a monster. Um, eventually, Tua is going to throw it deep enough for him, uh, and Tyreek won't have to keep no, coming won't. back to that throw. Yeah. yeah probably, probably not. Uh, number eight, we have the uh, Packers. Uh, Packers number 10 last week for us. Uh, obviously, uh, 
they got their get right game, uh, played Sunday night against the Bears. We were all subjected to that. Most of us fell asleep. You? Yep. I fell asleep. I mean, oh my God. So horrible. The Bears are horrible. As but soon the Packers, as, as soon as I see Packers, Bears, uh, yeah. I, I hit the snooze alarm and, you know, yeah. like, okay. Whew. Um, look, Packers took care of business. We all know they would, although you and I took the Bears uh, on our picks last week because it was too many points. Bears couldn't even do that. They suck. They suck. My God, yeah. the Bears are Bears. I think they literally got lucky against San Francisco the previous week uh, because it was a torrential yeah. downpour. and Or a freak hurricane in Chicago. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So we all knew this was going to happen. Uh, so... Because Aaron Rodgers will tell you he owns them. He owns them. He'll he continues. Tell them he owns them. them. Yeah, so. it's not even a lease thing. He actually mm-hmm. owns them. Yeah, he's yeah. they're bought and paid for. And maybe next week he actually rents them out to whoever they play next week. Yeah, I maybe. Know. But I hope. he owns them. He absolutely owns them. Uh, this is the first appearance for uh, for our top ten at number seven. We have the Eagles. Yeah. Uh, Eagles played wonderfully uh, Monday night, but it's a little hard to tell because of that loose defense that the uh, Vikings employed. Are they that good or were the Vikings that bad? Uh, Jalen Hurts was thrown into wide open windows. I think if I got two more seconds than he did, I think I could complete that throw. Okay, maybe I need 10 more seconds than he did. Yeah, about about 15 more seconds, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, that, that's my point. I, I think that uh, they <laughs> they still look good. Don't get me wrong, but okay. their defense looked pretty stout. Even though the Vikings did drive the ball on them, but they kept throwing picks and stuff like that. But Slay man kept shutting that thing down. I mean, my Slay God, was a, he was amazing. He, he was, was all amazing. over Jefferson. I mean, in a big way. You, the thing that I, I told you uh, as we were watching the game, uh, Jalen Hurts, between his two rushing touchdowns, carried five Vikings into the end zone. Yeah. That should increase that score. The first one, he had three Vikings on his back, still gets in. The second one, he had two Vikings. He still gets in. So this guy, they're showing graphics uh, – uh, the uh, I want to say Fox because it was Aikman and Buck, but ESPN showed the the graphics where this this guy's squatting six hundred pounds. Yeah, it's no joke. I mean, this this and that showed up. This yeah. guy carried Vikings into the end zone. Yeah, no, well, we always knew that he can run. And he's a more powerful runner. I think we we had talked about it, uh, uh, last night about how. I, he's not the most speedy or elusive, but right. he he can run and he's powerful. He's wow, the compact power. and he can he can get through some uh, some shit, right? That power really showed up, and but he was sharp in his throws. Again, they were wide open, but he was sharp in doing it. You know, it, it looked good. Every yeah. throw was wide open, but absolutely, yeah, yeah. way wide open, right? Yeah. Uh, number six, we have the Rams. The Rams beat the Falcons. Yay. Uh, didn't cover, even though I took the Rams, gave the points, didn't cover. Um, actually, I think. Uh, How would you feel about that safety at the end? Oh, my God. Yeah, killing time. Just killing time. So I like how the announcers are like, oh, this doesn't matter. In the game, like, <laughs> it matters to gamblers. What are you talking it about? Just a few of us. Yeah, whatever, man. I look, so they took care of business in the first part of the game, right? Uh, but then they let the Falcons back in. That's a little concerning. Uh, and when you and I were doing our picks, I, I, I said I believe the Rams are going to mash down the pedal, and they're not going to let up because I thought they were embarrassed by the Bills uh, on opening night. I thought yeah. you know they're going to. They're going to use this for a good get right, and they did for a minute, and then yeah, they put the Falcons back in. Yeah, they put just Marcus Mariota back in. Mm-hmm. What, are you, what are you doing? 
Yeah, see, in this league, you cannot – you have to kill a team. I mean that, – Yeah, especially in these first two weeks, right? We've seen it too often where if you don't step on that throat, these guys can come back. We've yeah, because they're it. still feeling good, right? Right. We've seen – I mean, there's been too many games in these first two weeks where if you don't end this, you know, they'll yeah. come back. Yeah, because they, absolutely. Right. So Rams number six. Uh, first time in our top ten – and a big jump, I guess. The Fins, the Dolphins. Yeah. Can no longer ignore them, right? I mean, they um, beat the Patriots. Thought they would. We called that game. Pretty solidly. Uh, uh, yeah. So we we're like, okay. I, I picked them against the Ravens. Didn't think it happened that way. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, picked that the looked- Ravens, and I'm still shocked, to be honest. That's one impressive win out of two. Um, yeah. They didn't win impressively, although they came back. But you like it be a little more competitive through the first three quarters. They're uh, down but- twenty-one, man. What do you? I mean, they scored four touchdowns in the fourth quarter. Who can predict that kind of shit? Right. Yeah. Exactly. So, but but they put themselves in that position. Sure. And that's why I kind of question them. But look, the Ravens are no joke. They're playing a real team, and they took care of business. The only thing that matters is the scoreboard at the end. They did that. I agree. Ignore this team. And Tyree Kill is making a huge difference. Huge oh, yeah. Difference. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it, it was insane. Uh, Tua is not my favorite quarterback. I still think he's decent. But he's all right. Six touchdowns is a – that's an aberration. Let's, let's just be honest. Let's call it for what it is. That was an aberration kind of game, I believe. Uh, and – uh, Ravens fans better believe that because if you're going to let some quarterback do that to you, four touchdowns in the fourth quarter, that's ridiculous. I, I think the the Fins play the Bills this week, so we'll we'll really see what they're all about. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah. Okay. Coming to number four, we have the uh, Buccaneers. And, you know, they've been in our top ten since we started this. This is week three now. But they're not impressive, right? No. They're solid, yet not impressive. They're more um, solid on defense than offense now. Big time. Tom they're Brady's thrown for two cool. touchdown passes in two games and yeah. almost 300 yards. So, everybody – obviously, he always gets the credit and stuff like that. First of all, he's the one that started the fight that uh, Mike Evans yeah. is going to get booted for next game, by the way. Suspended. So look, and they really can't afford him um, to be yeah. out. No. You know, with Godwin, you know, I mean, they can't. Uh, although they signed um, Cole Beasley to their practice squad today, so yeah, helps on his well. Yeah, I mean, he's been thrown to Scotty Miller. So what? How many white little white receivers do you need on the field? But uh, and especially ones that don't get vexed. But uh, <laughs> probably misses Edelman, man. Like Cole Beasley, he can easily mistake for Edelman. You know? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. He loves the, those tiny white guys. He does, right? And uh, so the, the problem is little white beacons out there, right? Right in the slant area. Yeah. The, so the problem is, I wonder how much of his personal life is uh, affecting his play on the field because he's he is ignited every single time now. And um, he started that little fight. He definitely started that, man. Uh, and, and Mike Evans comes to his defense. Which you have uh, to. I understand that. But I don't want my receiver coming to my defense. I no, want I want my, my offensive lineman. Trust I want my left tackle coming yeah, to my yeah. defense. Yeah. Um, yeah. Look, I don't want to get into his personal life because I, I think that's irrelevant to football. But no, but I mean, okay, I understand that. I'm not trying to dive into that kind of thing. I'm just saying right. that it, it feels like he's more angry right now than I've ever seen him where – and maybe it's because he's playing poorly. So that that could be – because he's not playing great, I'll tell you that. He looks like a 45-year-old. A little bit. So, look, i tell you this right now. I wouldn't want to be a Microsoft tablet, and I wouldn't want to be Giselle right now because this man's angry. This man's angry. <laughs> okay. 
throw a Microsoft tablet at Giselle. I don't know. But uh, honestly, he looks hungry. I mean, that's an emaciated face, right? I mean, that's an emaciated I know. Maybe face. it's good. It, it, he won't eat a freaking strawberry. I mean, just do eat something. Have a pizza, man. Have yeah, a pizza. exactly. Just eat something, you know. Yeah. Seriously. It's, it's been 20 years. Hi, Mac. <laughs> it's been 20 years. Eat something. Yeah. You know, eat something. All right. So at number three, we have the Chargers. And, uh, of course, they just come off a loss against the uh, Chiefs. But, man, they look good. And we, you and I thought that the Chargers were going to win that game. Yeah. <clears throat> they were going to win that game. Uh, they had the pick six at the end there. I, I, I kind of blame the Chargers for not rec- – first of all, uh, your receiver's waving. He wants to yeah. come out. He's he's, he's, gas. Gas. he's like, hey, dude, I need out. He's gas. Yeah. However, I know you're gas, dude, but the route is a stick, and you, you're moving. You're moving yeah, he's off. Yeah, off. he's fading off the stick. And and then, bam, you get a pick six, and they lose. I, I think they were I think they were on route to beat the Chiefs there. Uh, so, uh, look, there's no doubt. Um, you don't have – Herbert sm- passes the sniff test. Yeah. Any way, shape, or form. But – we do need to see him win a big game. Yeah, true. There's no doubt about it. There wasn't a bigger game. Uh, I don't know how many people saw it on Amazon last Thursday. Yeah. Uh, but there wasn't a bigger game, right? You're talking about the Chiefs versus the Chargers. That was as huge as it gets this early in the season. You want to see him win that. You want to see him beat the Raiders uh, last year, basically a play-in game uh, to get into the playoffs. He needs to do that to really solidify his spot amongst the elite. I, I completely agree. Uh, can <clears throat> I just want to pause for a second. So the, the top three that we're going to go through, uh, starting with the Chargers, are on a different level that I've seen through the season so far would would you agree with that like uh like chargers chargers again they got to win that but yeah 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 i understand but the way they play yeah yeah Yeah. i I just feel like these top three teams are in a different tier than the other seven and because the other seven that come down are they have flaws they have this that that these, these three teams that we're going to talk about, starting with the Chargers, which I think is a really good team, and wait till that defense starts uh, coming together. Wow, that's going to be scary as hell. And uh, I, I just feel like the top three are in a different tier than the other teams as of right now, as of right now. Right. Especially the Chargers, we talked about um, uh, Von Miller and Khalil Mack. When, when they get their timing down and – Whatever they do, this is scary. And this is just the beginning. And they already look good. But it's scary. It, it reminds me of Mathis and Freeney back in the day. Yeah. You know, this is scary. This is going to be a problem for team as they figure out and they figure out with the rest of their line how we're going to attack this. They're scary. Yeah. Well, and you said Bob Miller, but you meant Joey Bosa. Uh, uh, Joey both. Bosa and Khalil Mack. Uh, yeah, both, both, both of Mack. Yeah. Oh, but Von, um, Von Miller, we'll get to him in just a sec. Uh, so, so for those of you who are concerned, who sent cards and letters, yes, uh, I was off the beer for uh, a week and a half. Cards uh, and letters. Back in carbs, but I'm back, baby. I'm back. That's why yeah, so uh, yeah, both, both and Mac, when these guys figure all that out, I, I don't want to touch these people. No, they're going to be – it's going to be very tough. And the reason we're spending so many t- so much time on the Chargers is because we already know who the top t- uh, top top two are: uh, Bills number one, Chiefs number two. They're the class of the NFL, but Chargers are sneaking up in that. That's why I said there's different tiers. I think those three are in a one tier, and then the rest are kind of middling. And- right. So as we said last week, and hate to beat the same drum, but uh, Chiefs could be number one. But we just saw the Bills just rip a new asshole to the Tennessee Titans. And it's, it not, was, it's, it's not like 
the Titans were number one seed in the AFC last year. It's not yeah. like they're a scrub they're team. Hard. Yeah. Right. So think what you want, but they're not scrubs. And then they so they followed so they followed it up after beating the uh, Super Bowl champions. So the Bills are number one. They're not fading off until we see something different, right? Right. They play the Finns this week. Uh, if the Dolphins are as good as some of us, not me, but a lot of people think they are, then, you know, maybe it's a division game. So I think there's gonna, they're going to come back down to earth, I think. I think so. Uh, man, they're good. They're good. Because they're not just winning it. They're blowing them out. So Right. Right. And the Chiefs, look, as long as you have Patrick Mahomes, man, you're fine. No Andy doubt. Reed, Andy Reid continues to be the most innovative play caller in the NFL right now. And it hasn't been close for years. Say what you will about Sean McVay. It's Andy Reid. Yeah. He is the class of offensive play calling. No Whether Benjamin actually calls the plays, you know that offense was designed by Reed. It's, it's spectacular. Yeah, so we didn't want to spend too much time on the top two because everybody knows who they are. You know who they are. Until, until they lose. Until further there. notice. That's, right. that's the best teams in the NFL. So, Absolutely. And then who knows? Week eight, we might change it up. But – yeah, it could be the Chiefs number one, Bills number two. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see who has a better week. But looking, that's the way it's going, right? Yeah. 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 So, well, look, until uh, next week, I, I think we're done here. I think we're done here.